Hey guys, so yesterday at Hydrocut, one of the guys that we ride with had a Rocky Mountain um, e-bike that I only picked up on, that it was an e-bike when we were up on the trails and I could hear this funny whizzing noise coming from that back hub. So he and I talked about it uh, while we were doing one of the trails and you know, it's just another reason why uh, you really have to think twice about e-bikes, how they work, take the time to understand how they operate. Um, you know, this bike has a 32 km an hour limit and then it governs your speed. So even if you try to go faster, it actually holds you back. So um, to, to bypass that, you actually have to switch off the function and ride the bike like a normal uh, mountain bike. So there's been a lot of debate out there about, you know, are e-bikes good or bad? Should they be on trails or they shouldn't, shouldn't they? Um, this guy has a health issue um, that requires that he keeps his heart rate below a certain amount and this e-bike allows him to get out and ride all of these trails with all of us who he's been riding with for years and if that's not a perfect reason why you should have and should be able to use an e-bike I don't know what is um, and understanding how his bike works and, and how it functions was an integral part of why he bought it because it's not some electric motorcycle that's going to tear up the trails and go too fast and cause problems, right? Um, there's been a lot of discussion online about it, but I would suggest that people educate themselves, um, look at the uh, companies that sell e-bikes, and try to think about why you would want an e-bike and how you would use it. Anyway, that's my two cents. Uh, everybody stay safe, stress less, ride more. Large drop. I think I'll be going the left side. Left side? Yeah, this bike's not for this big jumps. Oh, oh I forgot that was the roll off. Damn it! Thank you, sir. <laughs> where's my damn bungee cord? So where's my bungee cord? Yeah, uh, have a little, a little hook up too. Well, you know it's an e-bike. It's an assist. I have to still keep my heart rate under a certain level. Right, right, yep. And I don't want to go... Burn it up. I don't want to use uh, uh, the boost mode or the... Right. The trail mode. Well, <coughs> like 30, 50, 70. At this level? Right, yeah. So you just have to go back and forth between them as you need them? Right. right now, looks like 136. And that's well, good. My target's only 140. Oh, okay. Turbo boost. No. no. Well, not just a medium. A medium. Right, right, right. Yeah. 
Now there's a big debate over e-bikes yeah. and at the end of the day e-bikes have their place you know it's like yeah. it's not some motorcycle that you turn up the trails on yeah. Yeah. Uh, people have a misconception yeah. and that's all it is exactly and even then that's a silent hub Yeah, perfect example. You know, it's it's uh, you get your 78 year old dad who used to mountain bike out, and he can enjoy it again without killing himself. You haven't ridden for five years because of something. You get back out on an e-bike. People that have that don't normally ride exactly are getting out exactly. So how can that be a bad thing? Exactly. And this one takes you up to what, 20 miles an hour, 20 kilometers an hour, and cuts out? And then it cuts out. Oh, so you hold your back even better. Exactly. In fact, I was on the hill the other day. Yeah. And uh, coming up to these people, and I couldn't touch them. <laughs> so I shut the motor off. Yep, and then I say, damn. No, I got him. Yeah, exactly. You need to get rid of the help. But it's almost counter right? I've just shut my assistance off so I can catch up to you. Well, that's the, um, I think that's part of the evolution of bikes too, right? Exactly. Part of the evolution. Yeah, exactly. Being able to govern, because a lot of times it was just wide open, it would cut out, yeah. and then you just keep going, not realizing in trails like this that actually having something that slows you down. Yeah, you get the 30 kilometers on this trail. Yeah, you're good. You're doing fine. Yeah. Ooh. The heart still up there. 145 right now, which is. So this is a. My max in the last few rides is like 130. It's the Rocky Mountain. Uh, it's a power play instinct BC edition. Okay. So it's got the longer squish. Morning guys. Well, that'll be a whole separate YouTube video. Kind of, what's your name? Andre. Andre? Yep. I didn't do it, it wasn't me. So, so you have a YouTube channel? Yeah. What's it called? Uh, easiest way to find it is just Andre Laurent 1. All right, let's go. You go ahead, Andre. All right, thank you.